So the first time I scored a goal was when I got hooked in soccer and I was about four. And I can just remember being surrounded by sounds of cheering. I remember I could hear my mom's voice, like very excited. And I had the team, I had friends, and I had a job. But, um, but that stayed consistent through my entire life. Um, and I noticed it mostly then when it wasn't there anymore. That was still a place that my mom could go to or my stepdad could be where um, we, were just, we were just focused on the game. You don't want to be the weak one. And girls were always considered, well, you're already weak. So I had to work extra hard to be seen as a peer. So when I started middle school, I went in for a surgery that was potentially like a hernia and then woke up and was told that I had cancer. I didn't really know what that meant. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Like, when can I go back to school? How much longer until I can play soccer? You know, I'd go into the doctor's office and they're telling me my numbers are low and like, you're not gonna be able to go outside. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, when can I go back out? When I started to have like the physical effects and get really sick from the chemotherapy, that made people uncomfortable because they didn't know about it. Experiencing cancer was isolating. Surviving it was also isolating because now I have this perspective on life that most people don't have, which is you know like a second chance. Like I was, I was having a hard time connecting with people because I had had some deeper experiences, and I found a solution to that, seemingly, which was alcohol. The amount of days that I played soccer went down to one or two a week, and then the amount of days that I was partying increased. And the last time I got arrested. I knew I didn't have anywhere else to go and I actually felt safe in jail. I knew I would eat and I knew I would, I would have a place to be. And so when I had a chance to get sober, like I took it, but I was uh, really terrified of that. I, I couldn't imagine a life that was good without those things in it. And I didn't know who I was gonna be without those things in my life. When I got introduced to street soccer, I started to kind of experience moments of joy again. That surprised me because I had forgotten that I could experience joy sober. And now I started to get excited about a life that I could have. Support is such a big role of our own growth. If you don't have a support system, then you're gonna be facing everything alone and that's not the easiest way to overcome like hardship and challenges. To learn more about how your childhood experiences may be affecting you today, and for healing resources, visit numberstory.org. I'm Lisa Reitzman, and this is my number story.